today we're back and we're just doing a little spring preparation and the in the winter before winter came we moved all the finches into this aviary with these cockatiels and the red rumps and I moved them out a couple days ago and put them in the aviary for the summer and usually these birds will stay in this aviary all year round but we are going to be moving some birds around. So we're gonna take all the birds in here and put them in the back aviary that has um, cockatiels and bork parakeets. And we'll have them all in there. And then this aviary will be empty for a little bit and we're going to potentially divide it and split it into two smaller aviaries. And we have a pair of African greys that will come out here into one of those and then we might move the red rumps back into the other side of the aviary after we get it divided um, or we might leave them back there just depending on things so right now i'm just going to catch all these birds and move them back to the aviary here are the first four that i caught and i just put them in this little cage um, and now I'm going to go move them to the back. We have one male red rump and then three cocktails. back in the other aviary and we just caught four more um, of the birds that need to go. Three cocktails and a red rump. And then we just have one more pair of red rumps that need to go. And then they will all be moved. So I just finished catching the last two. This is one of our pairs of red rumps. There's one, and there's one right there. And it just started to rain, so I'm gonna move, take these guys to the back, and then I will show you the zebra finches, just give you a little update on them. So I just finished releasing all of the birds into this back aviary. I didn't get the release of the, the pair of red rumps just because my camera was kind of blurry and so I missed it. Um, but there is the last male and then there's the other, that other pair, the yellow and the green. And I think the other red rumps outside. And I think all the ones we brought in I don't know if I'll be able to see them, but I think these three up here are from the aviary I just took. This one right there, and that one, their pair, and then that one. I don't know where uh, her mate is, um, but yeah, they're just chilling out here. They're all kind of a little stressed out just because of the move, but I'm just going to give them some time to settle down. and. Uh, I'll go show you the zebra finches just to kind of show you guys what's been going on with them. But here are the birds. So here are the zebra finches back in their kind of spring, summer, fall house. This is where they usually stay. 
and there's eight in here right now um, five males and three females so I'm gonna get two more females just for those two extra males and then I do have four other zebra finches but they're not out in this aviary I'll show you them in a minute and talk about why they're not in here um, but yeah they're just here kind of hanging out until I get ready to put all the nest boxes out and get ready for the breeding season the other four zebra finches are two different pairs that um, I decided to keep separate just for a little bit at least one of them is kind of an older pair that I've had for a few years and they were just kind of getting a little sick and having trouble flying so I didn't want to put them in the aviary where they couldn't fly around with all the other birds or they'd get just caught up by the others so I moved them inside just because it's a little warmer and they can be just by themselves and kind of hang out with each other and then the other two is a pair of younger birds. One is one that I bought last year and one is a chick that I saved and I pulled them out because I wanted them to be paired up and I wanted to specifically pair those two so I made sure that the chick I saved didn't um, mate with either of its parents and so I just kept them separate and I'll probably keep them separate at least for the next few weeks, maybe a month. I might even see if I can see if they'll raise a clutch before just to make sure they're paired before I put them in here. Or I might um, just have them in a separate breeding cage um, for the season. But I haven't quite decided what to do with them yet. Um, so yeah, I'll go show you those guys right now. Here is the pair of younger finches that I had, and I have them in a smaller cage in the aviary that I just pulled the cocktails and red rums out of, the cage that the finches have been in all winter. And they're just in here in a smaller cage, um, just so when I, if I do need to move them again, I don't have to go and catch them. And it's just the two, so they're fine. It's a bigger kind of cocktail size cage that they're in right now, but I just, like I said before, I just separated them because I wanted them to pair up and I didn't want to have any inbreeding between the birds. So the white one right here, she's the female and she is one of my chicks from last year. She's, um, her mom is white and her dad was a black cheek, so she split with that. And then I'm not sure 100% what the male is because I bought him last summer and he was still fairly young. and. Uh, the guy I bought him from didn't um, didn't know what they are, but looking at him, I assume that he is crossed with a black cheek too, and kind of a silver uh, silver black cheek is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, if anyone else knows uh, what he would be or has a better guess, uh, let me know. But so I thought it would be interesting to pair these two up just because they're both split black cheek and they will get some um, black cheek chicks. Um, so yeah, they're hanging out in here for now um, and I might set them up with a nest box soon. But as of now they're just kind of hanging out and bonding in here before I, um, yeah. Here's the other pair that I have. I have them inside just because it's warmer, like I said before. Um, but they're probably my oldest pair. I think they are the last two I have from my original birds that I got several years ago. And they were adults when I got them, so I don't know how old they are. But they're getting up there, and they are struggling just a little bit. Mostly the male. He had a wing in injury back in the fall. Um, so he can't really fly super good, and in the aviary he just kind of hangs out around on the floor. And I didn't want him doing that, because it's better if he can just fly so we can get all the food and everything. And then the, the female is actually not doing very bad, but it just kind of depends on the day. Some days she kind of struggles a little bit. So I brought him inside, and I have him um, in this cage. I'm going to switch him out for a different cage soon this one just kind of temporary 
and I probably won't breed them just because they're getting older unless they start to get a lot better then I might set some up with a nest box and let them raise um, a clutch or two but for now they're just hanging out in here um, to see if they can get any better.